Hey y'all, happy Friday, happy Good Friday, and happy Easter weekend. I hope you guys are gonna get some downtime to relax this weekend with the holiday. And if not, then um, take Monday off. You deserve it. So, we are crafting tonight, but first, this light is killing me. I gotta change this light. Is that better? Is that gonna be okay? All right, I don't know, that light was brutal. Hey Carol, so we've got two projects tonight, but I wanna show you one of the classes that we have coming up in a couple weeks that I'm in love with. This is our Just Another Day in Paradise sign. Look at that, it's huge. Sorry, I can't fit it all in the frame. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love this one. I'm loving all of the beachy stuff that we're doing, um, doing this week. I love it, or coming up in the coming weeks. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out that switching the thing around, but it still won't work. I tried it before and during, and it won't work, so we are not switching. So, we've got two projects tonight. Both of them are farmhouse related, so Nautical's coming up in classes during the month, and tonight, Hey Tammy, is farmhouse. So, one is a frame, which is super cool. We've not done anything like that before. And the other is a windmill. And I'm gonna go ahead and tilt you down and we're gonna get started. Um, neither one are gonna take very long. It's gonna be a quick live tonight because I got a ton of stuff to do for Easter. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the windmill. So I went ahead and painted the stand that the windmill's gonna sit on and I put some Spanish moss in there because what I'm gonna do when I'm finished with the windmill portion is we're gonna glue it in and it's gonna look like it's out in the field somewhere. So we're gonna start with that one. And I am going to do a technique that's going to make it look like metal. So I'm going to start with a gray and paint the whole thing gray first. And then we're going to go back over it and, and just kind of sponge on some black and some white to make it look like corrugated metal. And hopefully it looks like an old, wood, an old metal windmill when we're done. That's the goal. I hope everybody's had a good day. It has been super, super windy. I keep hearing the wind blowing out there and cold, which I'm not a fan of, but I heard it's gonna get warm again next week, so. We're just gonna give this a simple base coat. It doesn't have to even be full coverage because we're gonna go back with our white and our black, and the idea is to make it look like an old metal windmill, so. No perfection going on. Not that there ever is. We don't we don't aim for perfection. All right. I love these windmills. I have them all over my house. <laughs> They just go along with my farmhouse theme. And I pick them up everywhere. Okay. Just about done with this. And then the fun part comes. Then we get to make it look old. That's that. Now, hey, Lynn. Hey, Michelle. Now we're going to make it look old. So I'm going to find some brushes that are kind of stiff and not really soft. Not that hard, though. Well, that one might work. All right. And then we just need some white paint and some black paint. And this is trial and error. You just keep working with it until you get the look that you want. There's no rhyme or reason to it, I promise. So I'm gonna start with the white. I'm just gonna dab some off on the table and then I'm just gonna do this. 
all over it. And what's going to happen is when you go back in with the black, it's going to make it look like old metal. And you're just pouncing up and down. You don't want a ton of paint at one time much easier to go back in and add some more than it is to take away so and you don't have to paint it like this this is just a technique that I like to use sometimes to make things look like old metal you can paint it any color you want this particular project too is part of a promotion that we're running for the month of April um, it's going to be $20 to buy it um, individually or $10 as an add-on with a $65 order. So that makes the thing half price, which is pretty cool. I like it. And it comes with the stand and the, um, the Spanish moss and it'll look, you get to see it all put together in a minute. It looks super cool. It's a great piece just to sit around on your mantle. You can put it on your mantle. All right, get the rest of this white on and then we're gonna do the exact same thing a little more sparingly with the black. You don't want quite as much black as you have white because black is so bold, but you do need a little bit of it to give it that look. So we're gonna take this brush. This one's a little soft. Let me find another one. Okay. And then you're just gonna go in like this. take a little while maybe I can find a bigger brush so you guys don't have to watch me pounce this for hours let's see I'll do this one it's a touch bigger not much but it's a little bit bigger see how it starts to take on that look of old pitted metal very very cool hey Mary That was a little much. That was a little much. That's okay. I can go back over it with a little bit of gray too when I'm done to tone it all back down. There's no mistake that can't be fixed. Except maybe this brush, which is looking a little sad now. Looking a little sad now. Maybe we're gonna have to switch again. Switch again. a little bit of gray. Hey Erin, how is your weekend going? Well, it just started, but do you have competitions this weekend or is Easter weekend off? It's spring break next week for y'all, right? Okay, let's go tone them down a touch with this gray that we used on the background. 
and it really starts to take on that look of old metal. I just love it. It's definitely a layering process, so you gotta be patient. But you're gonna be rewarded with a really cool piece when you're done. Super cool. Super, super cool. I love it. This is exactly what I wanted and I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue it into the stand so you can see it. And then we're gonna work on the most adorable barn door frame. I cannot wait, cannot wait. All right, so this is what it looks like. Very, very cool, very, very cool. So I am going to glue it into its beautiful frame with its, um, with its Spanish moss. Lots of glue on the feet there, lots of glue. Sorry, I got it backwards for you. Hang on, I'll turn it around for you. I'm just gonna hold this till it sets up in that Spanish moss. Very, very cool piece. I love it. Turn you up a little bit because I can't see it. It's the same as the base color. Yep, the exact same color. All right, and there it is. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love it. It really looks like old metal. Very, very cool. And Carol, I used slate gray, which is super cool um, because it's got a little bit of a blue hue, but not a lot. All right. So we're going to set that one aside. Set that over there. You're going to see that again in a minute. You're going to see that again in a little while, but first, but first, but first, but first. Let me clean up my mess because I am so excited about this frame. I've been waiting all day to show you all this. I love it. But then I got all the way over here and realized that I don't have any red paint because y'all know me. Hold on. Let me get some red paint because you need red for this one. Red apple will be good. Red apple will be great. Okay, so here it is. This little frame is to die for. It looks like a barn door. And it says, this is us. It's so cute. Look at the little handle. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. So what I did was I went ahead and glued the first layer because it's three layers. There's a back piece because you've got to have this gap to slide your pictures in and out. And then you put this third layer on. So I went ahead and glued the first layer and the second layer together because we're not doing anything with those in particular just painting the base and then we will paint this piece and glue it on and then the final frame piece will go on top and that's mostly decorative so i've decided to keep this one pretty neutral so that um so that it just will go with anything but you can choose any colors you want i just want a very neutral palette for this one so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this background. And you don't have to paint this section right here um, because that's gonna be covered up with your picture. I was gonna stain this and then paint it this color, but I liked it without the stain. So, um, but that's totally a personal preference. You may want to stain it and then put a little bit of color over it um, or leave it natural even. It'd be pretty if you left it natural and then dry brushed over it. I think that would be pretty. A lot of this is going to be covered. Um, this barn door part will show. So I'm trying to do a light coat so you'll still be able to see those lines and I won't have to go back in and detail them.
sometimes when you're painting these, and I'll show you on this one in a second, like I just did on that first one, sometimes you can take your brush sideways, just kind of brush out some of your paint. Make sure you don't have a lot on your brush when you do it then, because I think I was just counterproductive. All right, so this is a nice soft hue. It's very neutral. It's gonna work well for me. So that's all you do with that section. Hey, Kimberly. And then the top section, now, we're gonna paint the framework and then we're gonna paint This Is Us in black and do our heart in red. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the part that's gonna be in this beige. I love this color because it's called Beach Comer Beige and I am telling you, I'm so beach ready. Need some beach. So excited about this one. Oh, this one is 24 and it is a great size to put anywhere. And the detail on it is just to die for. I'm super excited. I'm going to take this one home tonight. I need it. I need it right away. <laughs> It would be pretty done in um, bold colors. It would be gorgeous for a wedding and to paint it in the wedding colors. And then they would have this memento to put a picture from their wedding in. So for any of you who have people getting married in your life, this is a great idea. Especially if they're doing a rustic wedding. And that is just like all the rage right now. And has been for some time. I love the whole barn theme wedding. You have barrels and hay and barn doors. <laughs> and then mix it in with a little bit of lace and some twinkle lights. And you've got like the perfect venue for a wedding. All right. Now, I'm going to paint this little section as well with the same beige. Again, because I'm going neutral, but you don't have to. In fact, I'm going very neutral tonight. Even more neutral than normal for me. But I loved this color because I think it goes with everything. And so then when you put a picture in it, it's not competing with anything. Just the picture and the, the detail is going to stand out. Okay. Now. Now, now, now. We're gonna do the black for This Is Us and for this adorable handle. I love this handle. This probably makes the whole project for me. I don't know why, that just really tickles me. It doesn't take much to amuse me. For anybody who's coming to hang out with us this weekend, make sure you have your spot reserved. Um, I know that we have um, quite a few people at four, so. If you're coming to work on a project other than a class, make sure you let me know you're coming so I can um, have a seat for you and make sure you let me know what you're making. And if you've already um, gone through the website to order it, let me know. If not, you'll need to do that ahead. We've gotten so busy, it's hard to just um, do a drop-in without knowing what you're making. We are excited that we can um, have a few more people in at a time now. I guess that started April 1st. So we are um, rearranging a bit to accommodate some extra folks and still keep socially distanced. So you'll notice that next weekend if you come in that things look a little different or will look a little different by then. This is so therapeutic. It is just what I needed after this week. Now this is going to be so pretty. 
So how many of you actually watch This Is Us? I'm like a This Is Us fanatic. Hey, Lois. Hey, Donna. Hey, Mom. I love This Is Us. <laughs> the actual show. I love it. was so wet right there I was making some kind of beige there we go all right and now our red heart and then literally this project is finished and ready to put together couldn't be easier could not be easier all right I went and got that red oh hold on I didn't do the best part I didn't do the best part what do I do with my little bitty brush okay this is the best part of the whole project There we go. See? Now we can do the heart. That wasn't the important part. That handle, that was the important part. Okie doke. We're going to be done in no time. This will probably be the fastest live I've ever done. Sweet. I love it. I love it. All right. That is it. The whole project is painted. And now we just have to put it all together. So this one glues on top of this one, just like that. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just going to put some glue, take the lid off. Some tacky glue on here. Doesn't take a ton. We're just going to line that up and glue it down. Whoops. There we go. I splashed a little bit of black paint there. Let me see. I'll put some more beige on it. a miss. Shocker. Oh, and now I'm making a bigger mess. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone until it dries. Leave it alone until it dries. I'm scooting it too. All right, there we go. Hold that still. Get the excess glue off if you've got any on the sides. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this top piece on for the finished framework. This is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I can't get over this. All right. There we go. Now we'll just put a little glue on the table and dab our handle in it. And then we're going to put this handle right here. Oh my heavens. This is so sweet. Oh my gosh. I love it. All right. There it is. Not quite dry yet. But there's the finished product. I didn't have a picture. So I had to cut a piece of paper to kind of show you how it works. So there's a slot because of those, because of those layers that we put on. 
and your picture slides right through there. Just like that. Of course, a picture will slide in better than that thick cardstock I've got there. And then you'll have your picture. Super adorable. This is amazing. I love this project. Super cute. So we've got that one. That one's 24. That one will be available later this evening. And then of course we've got this beauty. Oh my gosh, the windmill is gorgeous. So this one is 20 by itself, or it's a bump up add on for $10 if you order $65 in kits off of the website. So, and that's going on all month. I love it. I love both of them. I'm not sure which one I love better. But good thing I don't have to choose because I got them both. <laughs> so, I hope you guys love those projects. I hope you have a beautiful Easter weekend. And don't forget, it is, it is nautical around here for the month of April for our classes. And all of our classes are available as kits as well. So, if you don't want to take a class, you just want to take it home and do it, you're more than welcome to do that. Just let me know in the comments when you purchase your class that that's what you'd like to do. So, have a great weekend. I hope the Easter Bunny is good to you. Remember, though, that it's not about the bunny. It's about the lamb. I love you guys. Happy Easter. Good night.